gonna show you how to make a super simple talking turkey using some sound wave science. What you're gonna need to make this cool little turkey are the following. I used an old yogurt tub. If you have plastic Solo cups or any other plastic cup that's about this size, it'll work great. Need a cup, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, you're gonna need a little dish of water, some tape, something to color with. I use crayons. You can use anything from markers, color pencils, whatever you've got on hand. You're gonna need a box cutter or something sharp to be able to puncture the top of your lid. Kids, if you're watching this by yourself, don't use a box cutter by yourself. You gotta get a parent to help you with this one. You're gonna need a paper clip, some brown construction paper, and last but not least, some string. Oh, and you're gonna want to get the printables that are free on my website. Um, they come two per page, so cut one of each out and then give another to a friend. You need the turkey head and your turkey feathers. All right. First thing we're gonna do is let me actually show you how this works. So the cool thing about our little turkey is that with a simple application of water on our fingers, we can create some friction on this dry string. We don't want the string to be soaked in water. We just wanna have a little water on our fingers. And watch what happens when I pull on the string with wet finger. Doesn't always work the first time. <laughs> Get them wet, start the top. <laughs> it sounds kind of like a turkey, right? <laughs> because what you're doing is you're creating a little bit of friction on this string. And when you do that, you're actually starting to create some sound waves. Those sound waves move up the string and our cut acts like an amplifier. It amplifies or makes that sound that much louder to us. And it makes it sound like you've got a goblin turkey. If I had just dry strip fingers, now the string's a little wet, so it does make a little bit of a sound. But you can see I slide pretty quickly. It's not very exciting. Having your wet fingers and pulling down. <laughs> makes a turkey gobble. It's simple sound wave science. And it's a great way to start talking about sound waves and how um, amplification works. All right, let's make our turkey. First thing you're gonna wanna do is get a clean, dry cup. Like I said, I'm using an old yogurt tub. Use what you have at home, okay? If you can, try to get something out of the recycling bin and give it a new life. Try not to go out and buy a whole new thing of cups for this experiment. Not worth it. Save something from the trash and reuse it. Okay, so again, my yogurt cup. First thing I wanna do is we need the box cutter. And I'm just gonna make a small hole at the top of my tub. This is for parents. Box cutters are super sharp. Um, so kids, if you're watching this, like I said earlier, please make sure you get a parent to help you. I tried using a push pin, um, which a push pin might work if you're using a thinner base cup to be able to push a small hole. Um, but for these thicker yogurt tubs or cottage cheese tubs, um, I need something a little bit sharper. All right, put the dangerous thing away. And now you've got a nice little hole right there. Okay, next thing is I wanna get my paper clip and I wanna get my string and you saw I let my string pretty long so I can make lots and lots and lots of sound as I move down. So I'd cut it about maybe two feet. And just use your paper clip to push the string through the hole. Paper clip's gonna serve multiple purposes today. But especially with little fingers, sometimes it's hard get the string through the cup. So I use that just to guide it through. Pull it through like this. And then fold your paper clip back. This is actually then gonna act as your anchor to keep the string from pulling all the way through the cup as you're making your turkey gobble. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna tie it 
tie a knot around my paper clip. Once, and I'm going to secure it, so I'm going to do it twice. All right. It's good. It's not going to pull through. It sits on top like that. Now, you've got the makings for your sound waves. Let's test it out. What fingers? <laughs> These can get kind of loud. <laughs> okay, it works. Sometimes it sounds like a chicken, sometimes it sounds like a turkey. Either way, <laughs> you've got a bird call. All right, now it's time to make it turn into a turkey. All right, so you're going to want to take a piece of brown construction paper, depending on what cup you're using. Depends on its size. I pre-cut one and you're just going to wrap it around like this and I'm going to tape it in the back like that. Doesn't need to be fancy. Doesn't need to go around the whole way because guess what? The face of your turkey is going to go right here on the front. Okay, so you've got that there. Then you want to cut out your turkey head and your turkey tail and then you want to color it. Feel free to use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have on hand, and make your turkey come to life. I have already colored mine, so feel free to pause the video at this time. Take your time, color your turkey head, color your turkey feathers, make it yours, and then come back. I'm gonna keep going. I've already colored mine, so what I did here, let me just remove mine so you can see. A simple piece of tape. See that little gap that I had before? I'm just going to put that right over it. Cut off. And on the back, I simply just put a piece of tape facing forward on my tail so that the sticky side's out. Sticky side out on the back. Try and center it around your face of your turkey. It's a little crooked. That'll work. And there you go. You have your very own turkey gobbler. Let's try him one more time, shall we? 